It's your girl, Barbie J. How is everybody doing? Today we are talking about Sisters, Season 2, Episode 16, Missing What You Never Had. So I was sitting there going, missing what you never had. But then we found out that was regarding Andy. And we're going to get to that in a minute. Okay, but first I want to give my shout outs to the people in the comment section who've been holding down my channel for me. And we have, who am I shouting out today? We got uh, Shanice Says, Isaiah Hill, um, Jackie Robinson, Kenya Peterson, Bobby Ray, Ty Harrell, Miss V, Tia Devine, Miss Brown Sugar 2010, Lamont Simpson, Tiffany Harrell, Tyler Brown, Sarah Farah, and Anna Walcott. Thank you guys in my comment section. Love you guys. And I look forward to your comments every week on all my shows. Now, let's get to this show. So you know it started off with Zach. And Zach is being handcuffed by the police officer asking to get out the car. Zach's like, what the freak? Now I didn't even do nothing. And now we are finding out why he got pulled over. And I'm going to get to that in a minute. That fool, what's his name? Well, let's, 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 let me just go in order the way stuff happened up in here. So he gets arrested. They take him downtown. Uh... Uh, what was, what was stupid was the cop is asking him, he make him handcuff him and stuff and then go, you got any weapons on you? You should have been asking that first. You, he handcuffed, he can't do nothing. Do you have any weapons on you? You gonna fill me up now? It's like, <laughs> it, it, ugh, please. I, I thought that was silly. Any weapons in the car? Any? No, no, no. I have nothing in the car. Anyway. They go, they show Karen and Fatima, and they're talking at the salon. And that I, I was like, I knew they wasn't going to tell it this week about Zach. But they were having a little girl talk about men and stuff. And, and Karen mentioned how she was tired of carrying a man, you know, all this time that didn't have any vision. Meanwhile, Fatima sitting there going, she got this man who got a vision, and it's the same man, <laughs> so I'm laughing. But it, I guess it took time for Zach to get that vision. He didn't have it when he was with Karen. Let's be real, he didn't. Let me tell you something. I have been with men, and he had no vision. So I understand the concept. You get them, and you have that vision, and you pushing them, and they're not getting it. And it takes them a couple of years later, and another woman to get the vision. See, all that work you did on them, they they give it to somebody else. So Karen did all that work on him, trying to get Zach ready. And now Zach is using all that vision, that, all that energy now with Fatima. That's how I see that. I don't know. Y'all can let me know down in the comment section. Okay. And um, let's see. Who else is there? Danny and Preston. Oh, no. But wait a minute. So Fatima and them are talking. Yada, yada, yada. Nothing goes on. Nothing's being said. And it's just plain old girl talk. So Danny Preston are talking in her apartment. And he's asking her, you know, making sure it's okay for him to stay. And then there's a knock on the door. First of all, he don't know how to sit home and relax. She's like, let me show you. I'm sure Danny does know how to do that. But the knock on the door, she think it's the it's the first of the month, so she think it's a landlady telling him to answer. So she likes you. She like your country behind you go. And it's the butt liquor. What's his name? James. I couldn't believe it. And he came in there. Here is he and Preston on half dress. And he still walking in, talking about he got this painted for uh for uh Danny. And Danny's sitting there shocked and not saying nothing like what is this fool doing at my house? And I'm sure he has never come to her house before. And when Preston asks her, she don't say, like, no, he never came to my house before. Because as far as we know, she ain't never seen him since that night. Anyway, he introduced him, said it's the butt liquor, James. And the man was like, yo, that's cold. <laughs> I'm sorry. I think because... <laughs> <coughs> but she asks him to leave. <coughs> Excuse me. She asks him to leave and... He wants her to see the art and stuff, but Preston said the art was nice. The guy leaves. James leaves. Preston said it was nice, but she said she don't want to see it. She don't want to see it. Okay, so 
she didn't get to see it, but I'm sure she's going to look at it because it's in her house. She's telling him to throw it away or do whatever he wants with it. But I'm like, if it's nice, it's probably a picture of her, you know? Anyway, so then there's Gary who rolls up on Andy in the car garage at her job. And it's like, really, Gary? And he wants her to know that he's leaving and he couldn't live without her. He never meant to hate hurt her and the violence you hear them playing blah, 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 that same sob story she's trying to be tough you said that before you said that before you said that before uh-huh 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 you leaving you leaving <sighs> he is sitting there telling him her he leaving waiting for her to um say something and she she goes something with the um you know i love you and she's like gary i have bruised ribs really Let's, let's let's she starts yelling about how you tried to take me away from my friends and stuff and how you know she's going through all back all through that stuff that didn't mind she didn't mind it before what about the house in the country what about all of that da, 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 da. and then a car pulls up and we're like i'm like who's getting out of there i thought it was gonna be hayden but it was fatima coming from getting her hair done at karen's because she sweated it out with karen's ex zach <laughs> This is so, such a tangled web. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Okay, Tyler, you're getting a couple of brownie points with me, Tyler Perry. You're getting a couple of brownie points. Anyway, do y'all know Tyler Perry was at my church Sunday? Look at me. I'm going off track, but I mean, not Sunday. Yesterday, Tyler Perry was at my church for um Cicely Tyson's funeral. Yes, he was. I wish I was there working because I sure would have went up to him and said, Tyler. Really? No. <laughs> I don't think I would have said something at Miss, Miss, the Queen Cicely Tyson's funeral. A home going. Let's put a big home going. But Tyler Perry was in Harlem, New York. Yes, he was at the greatest Abyssinian Baptist Church. Hallelujah. Anyway, let's go on. Uh, so, uh, anyway, uh, what, who was I with? Fatima walking up and saying, you okay? You need anything, you know, and you need my help. And she's like, no, I got it. But did Gary really think, cause he says he was moving to Boston that she was going to care. She don't care you moving. Well, she probably do, but she tried to be tough. But did y'all see that top she had on? Okay. That, that blouse that, uh, uh, Andy had on was all that it was fierce i love that it was lace and sheer and i'm sitting there going but lace and sheer you're an attorney should she have been wearing that to work i it, it was it looked like it was see-through it was hot though i love that top i'm gonna be up there tomorrow looking online trying to find that i wish they told where they got their clothes and the wardrobe from they might tell but that type that top was all that she she looked real good anyway so she leaves with Fatima. Andy leaves with Fatima. Said I was about to leave. They go. Uh, who else? Then we got Danny and Sabrina are talking on the phone, and she's telling uh, Danny's basically updating her about Preston and stuff. And but 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 Sabrina kills me because when she said, "Girl, that he really loves me. He really likes me a lot and stuff," and and um that 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 wasn't a they didn't bet on me. She's like, "You sure?" You sure? And I'm sitting there going, see, that's you, the insecure Sabrina, who can't make a decision on your own. You need everybody else. Are you sure? She wasn't sure about what's Calvin. Got to have him drug tested instead of checking. You sure? You know, anyway, that, that worked my nerves with her. She was like, are you sure? And she was saying how he's so sweet to her and this and that. And, you know, Sabrina... I got a sense of almost a little bit of jealousy. She's like, oh, you really like him or something like that? Well, you usually like this type and that type. And then she's, uh, uh, Danny said, nah, 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 Sabrina. You the one that like the thugs and stuff and little rug, roughnecks and stuff with all the tats all over them and stuff, you know, she said. And she was like, no, but such and such. She said, you know what? You really be blowing my high with your mess. And you know she didn't say mess with your ish, <laughs> you know. So she telling Sabrina, she, Sabrina's telling her that this, this, this cute, this, this guy at the job that kind of interests her. And then he comes in and it's, what's his name? Jacoby. And he comes in. She's like, I gotta go, go. So she gets off the phone. But then when Jacoby comes over and talking to her, she try to act like she don't like him. It's like she playing games. 
Why are you playing games? If you like him, go out with him. Why are you saying there's this guy that he, you know, at my job, but then you tell the guy, well, you know, I'm really your boss. You know, I'm just like, I'm your supervisor. I'm over you. So I can't really do that. And he, she turned him down for going out to dinner. And then he said he would make coffee. He brought his own Columbia coffee. Ain't that nice when a man bring his own coffee to work? And I don't drink coffee, so it don't matter. But that was cool. Then what else was there? Um, then there's, uh, who else is there? Uh, she, oh, so her and Jacoby are talking. She blew him off, blah, blah, blah. Oh, then what's his name? Maurice comes in, but Maurice is like, what y'all talking about? What's going on? He wants to know what the dealio is. And she's like, it's none of your business. Don't worry about it. And blah, 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 you know? So he's like, no, you're going to tell me what's going on. But she never told him what happened. She just told him to get to work. Don't he have something to do? Then we got, it was Andy and Fatima was in the office talking. And Fatima comes in there and is like, do you want to talk about Nell? Is everything, yes, I'm fine. I'm like, why are you being cold and biachi? You know, I don't, I don't like when Andy does that, that standoffish thing. And then she said, okay, when she leaves, she goes, you know what? I, I you know, and now she want to talk. You know, I can't even tell my girls this stuff, you know, but he, you know, I really care about him. She said, I need some advice, you know, and then she sees Miss Irene and Miss Irene throws it down on them with the, the, the all her, you know, her wise, she's wise and, and all this information she gives and Miss Irene a little deep. She really is because then when she's asking her, you know, when she said, Miss Irene, I have a question for you. And she's like, oh, no, no, not this again. You got to know what you need, honey. You need to know what you need or want. And she's like, I do. I, can't, I, I do. And so she's like, no, she said, she said, but you don't understand when you care about something. She said, girl, we all know how you treat. She said, we all in here know how he treated you and how, what you went through. I said, oh my God. And, and Fatima was like, right. And she's like, you supposed to be on my side. Fatima was like, okay, but we all know, you know what you went through and what's going on. So she's saying she loves her or, or whatever. And Miss Irene said, you know what your problem is? She said, you got the baby syndrome. That's what she called. She said, baby syndrome. We don't have no kids. She said, no, honey. No, honey. She said, see, the Bible says when a woman has a baby, she's she's she has a great sorrow and great pain. But after when after the baby's born, she remembers the anguish no more. And 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 the great I said, oh. Okay, that's deep. She said, John 16, 21. I said, all right now, you better drop that Bible verse on them. And Fatima was like, okay, let me write that down. They was like, does it say it in there? Does it really say that in the Bible? I said, it's a damn shame. These women don't know nothing about a Bible and what's in it. And I was like, I had pulled out my Bible. I was like, John 16, 21. And they was writing it down. <laughs> The, um, for her team, it was like, mm, I'm gonna have to use this. I'm gonna have to get in touch with the Lord now, you know, for my relationships going forward. But honestly, that's what you should do. Lord, is he the man for me? Lord, is this who you sending me for? But, um, she said, um, how she's wise. And she says, Andy was only focused on the beauty of the relationship. She was only focused on the beauty. And, and, and it doesn't mean that the pain wasn't real you know she said the pain was was real so she let her know i said oh and she said this is when the title coming miss irene told her you can't be afraid of losing what you never had okay was that deep you can't be afraid of losing what you never had you never had that man because he was married so how could you be ha losing anything that wasn't yours? I said, damn, Miss Irene, she be straight up telling it, don't she? Don't Miss Irene be telling it? I said, oh, tell it, Miss Irene. I said, okay. So they was writing it down, and she told her you can love and let go, but true love doesn't. You don't true love. You don't hold on to things. Doesn't hold on to things. True love gives you let it go and gives it freedom you give true love freedom i said okay miss irene so i like that part but that's where we got the title for today's episode 
So then they have Hayden. Oh my God. Oh no, Zach is in jail. And that female officer, you remember y'all, I told you, I think that female officer had something to do with the credit card stuff. And I still think she did, but I don't know. So she's messing with him. I think they said her name was Raya, Raya. And she's getting mad. You asked, oh, you put me through. Cause he's like asking to use her phone when I'm gonna get my phone call. She's like, you back up in here again, damn, what's wrong with you? And she messing with him and stuff. And he's like, look, come on in. And she's like, after what you put me through and da 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 She went all the way back to high school again. Girl, how damn old are you? You look like you gotta be 30. At least, it's like, damn, probably older than that. You bitching about what happened back in uh, high school? Or, that was like 20 years ago? She just wouldn't let it go. And he's like, damn, you got to get over that. I was saying, damn, she got to get over it. And she's like, you right, you apologized already. She let him use the phone. She want the number. Why are you putting some other woman number in her phone? That was making no sense. I would never put somebody else's number in somebody's phone. Especially when that girl is wanting me. But he did, I think, use her phone before when he called for Tima and she paid that five G's to get him out. So he made the call, but Fatima didn't answer. And he said, I don't even know what I'm in jail for. And she was saying how she would figure to go find out and let him know. All right. So then we got Hayden decides he gonna go and knock on Fatima door. How you doing? You know, you want to go out? You know, you know, how, no, he said, how was your night? That's what he started with. How was your night? And she's like, he's like, fine. She said, fine. He's like, what did you do? We know how her night was. That shit I was seeing. Goddamn, her hair was jacked up, wasn't it? <laughs> but Karen hooked the sister up, didn't she? Karen fixed that hair. Anyway, she was like, well, why are you asking? It, it, it is like none of your business. And he kept saying, you know, you got plans. And, and, and I already knew he done did some shit. Then I was thinking... Maybe he was the one with the credit card, but I don't think he was the, with the credit card because he shouldn't have Karen's stuff. He he did some shit, but he put that Coke in the car. He the one that did that. He said, well, she." he's like, well, if you feel, f if you find yourself free for the night, like feel free to give me a call. Because he kept saying, you want to have dinner? She's like, look, Hayden, I don't want to have dinner with you. We're not going out to eat. I'm like, damn, what is wrong with him? And... He made some comment. I didn't hear it really clear. And she was like, what does that mean? He's like, that means I apologize. You know, I'm apologizing. I'm like, whatever. You know, but she told him, I don't know how many times she's not going out with him. But he said something. If you find yourself free, she said, let me find out you did something again. She said, because I'm still pissed about what you did before. She said, but let, let me find you did something. You know, don't do that. Because she's like, are you threatening me? Are you threatening him? Talking about Zach. And I knew it. Once that happened, that's why the police pulled him over. Because Hayden said he got some drugs in the car. And they picked him up for that. And so that's when the uh, the police officer, she came back and said, that, that that female one, that he did drug, He had drugs and all this stuff in the car and blah, blah, blah. I thought it was just a credit card, but you had this. He said, no, no, no. And poor Zach is in the prison like, oh, my God, what happened? What is going on? I know he feel like he in, in, in the freaking twilight zone. He been trying to do the right thing all this time. And shit like this happened with a jealous black man, freaking Hayden, who's an asshole. He is an ass. Do some mess like this. You know, you're going to mess up for team and she's still going to say no. And then when she find out you did it and it's going to come out at some point, we know that's going to come out. Tyler going to let it come out. But I'm like, oh my God. Anyway, then what else happened? Gary shows up at Karen's job and damn Pam is like damn they're throwing herself at him. I thought she had a new boo. Didn't we see her a couple of episodes back with a new boo up in the salon? But she damn near throwing herself at him and <sighs> all of that stuff. I was like, girl, he asked for Karen, Pam. She's busy. She on her break. She don't like to be bothered. I'll leave a message. Let it go. But then Karen comes out, of course, and she wants her pocketbook. She ain't even paying attention to him till she realizes him. Then she go out and tells his ass off, tell him she don't like him, tell him she don't want him near her, her friend, and then tell him he gave her a good thing uh, that he she is going to talk because he wanted her. Gary wants Karen to tell Andy that he's a good guy. Didn't he 
just thought of it. You don't really know me. And how much does Karen know about, uh, do you know about me? I don't know what Andy told you. But if she don't know you, how you going to tell her to talk her friend into being with you? Didn't you just meet her in the, the garage and tell her you're leaving to Boston? Bye, B. Bye, boy. Bye. I wanted to say something else. Bye. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> She said, what I'm going to do is convince her to get a restraining order on your behind. He was like, I really love our care. And she went through the, she had broken ribs. You tried to kill her. She had bruised ribs. You tried to kill her. Stay away from my friend. And she said, and, and, and I will hurt you. I said, she said, if they didn't told you about me, she said, I will shoot a nigga in the, it, out in the daylight. Don't give a damn. Ask somebody, basically, she was like, and I was like, okay, Karen, you shot one dude, and you just like, hey, I'll shoot you out in the daytime, don't care, blah, 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 blah. Stay away from my place of business. Do not come by my place of business. Mm-hmm. And then, oh, that's how she said, and if you ain't heard, I'll shoot a Nick. I said, oh, come on. Anyway, how did it end? Uh, Karen calls Andy. Oh, Karen calls Andy now and tells her what happened. And she's asking her questions and Andy's not giving up any information. And she's telling her, oh, you sure you didn't talk to him? And she's lying, saying she didn't. She said, why are you asking? Because he popped up at my job. Really? See, see, that's how we know Andy, Andy going back to his ass. Because she should have told Karen that he popped up and saw her at the garage with her hiding it. Means she still got them feelings and she's still trying to get with him. And meaning she ain't paid no attention to what Miss Irene told her. She not paying. Let him go. Let him go. And we see coming attractions for um, um the uh, scenes for next week. Scenes for next week. She letting him in her house and she all dressed up like she want to just talk. You all looking all fancy for him. You could put on jeans and a sweatshirt, girl. Stop playing, trying to get cute while he comes. Anyway, so he, um, they decide they want to go out. Um, oh, she told him what she said and everything was good. And then they was like, you want to go out for drinks? And Karen goes, oh, let me ask Aaron first. She said, Aaron, you got to ask Aaron and his, ah, la, la, bye preacher's wife. You know, all this stuff being funny, but. Karen got her shit more together than you do, Andy. You might have that 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 title and that that job, but you need help. She need Andy need therapy. Y'all let me know down in the comment section. I think she need a little therapy. She need a lot of therapy is what she need. Cause she she suffers for some. She got low self esteem. If she want to go be with a man like that and think she can't get nobody else, she got low self esteem. That's just my feelings. And then it ended with um. Oh, the the guy with the, um, the police officer, the female police officer, as I told y'all, she came back saying that he had coke in, uh, kilo of coke in his tire, rear tire or something like that. So, you know, that was planted by Hayden, you know, so we know how that's going to end. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel, people. Help a sister out. This is your girl, Bobby J saying peace.